Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to finger knit. You don't need any special tools, you just need uh, some yarn and a free hand. So let's get started. For today's project I'm using this sort of fabric yarn which you can easily make yourself from an old t-shirt. If you'd like me to make a tutorial on how to do fabric yarn, leave a message in the comment section below. Start by holding the end of the yarn with your thumb, just like that. Then wave your yarn under the index finger, over the middle finger, under the ring finger and over the pinky. Then wrap the yarn around under your pinky, over your ring finger, under your middle finger and over your index finger. Then over, under, over, go around again, then over, under and over. You need to have two loops on each finger in order to create the stitches. Starting with the little finger, pull the lower loop over the top one and to the back of the finger. Do the same with the remaining stitches over the top loop and to the back of the finger. Finish with the index finger and now you have your first row of stitches. Wrap your yarn around the fingers twice, always ending with the index finger. You end up having two loops on each finger. Again, we take the bottom one, pull it over the top one and to the back of the finger. Repeat the process. If you check your work, you'll see it already looks like being knitted. Cool, right? If you feel like taking a break, just take a pencil, knitting needle, crochet hook, paintbrush, whatever you have at hand and slip the stitches on it. When you want to continue your project, just think that the working yarn should be on your index finger and start putting back the stitches.
Continue with the knitting until you think is long enough for your project. So it could be a bracelet, a necklace, headband, whatever you're making. When you've reached the end, you need to bind off. In order to do that, starting from your pinky, take the loop and pass it onto the next finger. In this case, pass it from the pinky to the ring finger. Then, like before, pull the lower loop over the top one. Pass it onto the middle finger. Pull the lower loop over the top one. Pass it to your index finger. Then pull the lower loop over the top one. This will be your last stitch. So cut uh, the yarn. Then pass the tail through the loop. and pull it tightly. So this is how your work will look like. If you're making a bracelet, you just need to tie a knot. Trim the ends and that's it. I like using chunky yarn for finger knitting, but you can definitely use whatever type of yarn you have on hand. Different types of yarn gives you different effects, it's like a totally different pattern, as you can see in uh, this example. Thank you so much for watching, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time with a new tutorial. Happy crafting!